Alright, so welcome back to the training vlogs. It's been a little while since the last time I did one of these. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of my training. This, and the reason it is, is because this is my favorite workout. This is the best snatch workout I've had ever. And it's all because of, I watched Vedium. Kozinekov, I think. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Um, I follow him on Instagram and he showed a video of himself doing uh, s press in snatch, which is an extremely hard balancing workout in which it's not a workout, it's an exercise in which you sit at the bottom of a snatch and press the bar from shoulder to overhead without leaving the bottom of the squat. Now, part of the thing is he mentioned how you need to keep your shoulder blades together and you need to keep your whole back extended now a problem I've had with my snatch for a long time is that I assumed that I had my back extended and I really didn't I wasn't pinching my shoulder blades together and I wasn't really extending the thoracic spine as much as I could and in this workout I changed that and as you can see here my torso is very much more upright now I can show you the difference between my old snatch and my new snatch here so in my old snatch I would look down more so my eyes would be looking more down here now I'm trying to look straight ahead and as you can see my torso angle is much more closed than now and I'm sitting deeper I've got my toes more out um, got my upper back extended the bar is more in line with my shoulders and above rather than behind and some I'm pretty flexible in my shoulders so I was basically able to get away with it but this is so important I figured I'd share it with you and you can see the difference right here in my setup for my overhead squat my chest is much bigger here than here and you can see how much more thoracic extension how I'm pulling my whole back up my raising my chest more up and you can really see it sitting in the bottom of an overhead squat so anyways, back to my workout. This is just some warm-ups I do before every workout. I do it with a stick and then with a bar. Several times I sit in a deep squat. That's something I found very important. Recently I've also been trying to push my knees over my toes in sort of a stretch position. In sort of an attempt to help with my uh, dorsiflexion. That way I could sit more upright in the squat because my am not built for squatting. I've got a fairly short torso and if you'll look you can see this is not much in comparison. That's quite a big difference. There's my knees, my hip level, and my shoulder level. That's quite a big um, segment length discrepancy and that's just how I'm built so it makes it harder to squat more upright and then I have very stiff ankles. So that's why I'm trying to fix that. So here I am kind of resting after doing lots and lots of snatches, snatches, overhead squats and stuff. It just, it's sort of a cardio and it's also just to kind of work on it. Uh, that one, so this is my first attempt at trying to do a snatch with a very extended torso, so that's why I kind of hop back. Now I do practice my jerks before. I don't really have any problem with my cleans. I'm able to clean in the threes, no problem. I've never had... I haven't had problems in the clean in a long time. It's kind of like breathing at this point. The snatch and the jerk, however, not even close. Let's just not even talk about the jerk because it's annoying to me. Uh, here is the video pictures again I was showing. Now, onto the workout. So first thing I'm doing here is I'm just warming up and I'm trying to sit in a squat before I start my snatches from the floor with as vertical a torso as I can manage. As you can see, I'm looking straight out. I'm sort of getting my feet in line. I've got my toes more out than usual, this way to help me sit deeper while keeping my chest more vertical. And as you can see here, I've got a little bit more of an open hip angle. My torso angle is a little bit more vertical than it was previously. And most of that is just because I am pointing my knees out and I'm really trying to extend my thoracic spine which is not something I've ever thought about really before in the squat and 
it is so important and I didn't realize it was so important that posture so let's go ahead and keep going so I'm just practicing that now this is my first snatch now you may notice with my snatches let's get into position here I have my hips pretty high and you'll see a lot of Olympic lifters their hips are usually much lower um, just keeping in mind that I have a shorter torso I also have a little bit narrower of a stance and that's just personal preference really um, I don't feel powerful with a wider stance so I narrow it up I keep it just a couple inches wider than my clean or my deadlift stance but this feels more powerful to me and I can extend my back I am trying out something new in this workout also is the f more of a frog stance so I'm trying to point my toes more way more out and the reason I am is because of a video I saw and I'll insert right now And that video is of a guy from the 70s doing a snatch who is kind of stiff like me and he's an American so I figured hey why not try it out and it really helped so my toes used to be more forward but right now I'm pointing them more out so as you can see I'm working on it trying to keep the chest up trying to figure out where I'm gonna keep my eyes practicing the overhead squat and the warm-up so I used to look down uh, on the ground. The reason I looked down was because I I really liked the technique of Tony Garcia, who was a middleweight lifter in the 60s and a fantastic technician. And it was sort of a coping mechanism for me not being uh, more vertical as I needed to be with my torso angle. And it doesn't really help me when I'm trying to extend my thoracic spine as much as possible to look down. I found that looking basically straight out about eye level if I were standing up when I'm uh, catching the snatch is much better. When I'm pulling however because of my high hips looking down is very helpful. So as you can see when I start my eyes are on a little X that I've chalked into the ground over here and so I'm keeping my eyes on that as I pull and then shifting as I pass the knees and here's another thing that contact point right here really when you're snatching you want to think about pulling it up the thighs and getting it into the hip pocket and then from here I am trying to pull with the elbows high as high as I can and the last thing to turn over are in my wrists and then I catch into the snatch and that's pretty much how I am doing it now. Here we've got 135. I did 115. I usually do 20 pound jumps as I'm warming up my snatch, but I didn't feel the need to film that for whatever reason. But then I decided to film everything else so that I could check on my positions and how I was working. As you can see there, I stopped because I wasn't comfortable with a more upright torso. I was trying to figure out where I'm going to look as I catch the snatch. This is where I kind of figured it out. Then I'm going to look basically straight out that way. There's a garage door I'm looking at at about head height, and I'm trying to keep my eyes on that while keeping my chest as big as possible and trying to keep my shoulders in line with my chest as much as you can. Obviously, the snatch is going to place the bar behind your ears a little bit, but I want to really be as vertical as possible when I catch these. So I do a little couple overhead squats that's just comfortable for me to warm up especially with the bottom position being the hardest for me here's 175 I pause in the bottom of the snatch just to make sure that I've got it in good balance and I want to feel the bottom I don't always do that when the weights heavy I'll usually come right back up so from here on out I start doing five pound jumps because it's starting to get heavy and I really don't know where I'm going. 
this is 190. One of the things I've embraced uh, since my lifts have started to get heavier and I am no longer doing uh, crap loads of light weight just trying to get the movement mostly down is that I got to have high standards and low expectations. I got that from Zach Talender. Uh, he's an Olympic weightlifting guy on YouTube and he preaches so much about that and I have found it really helpful. So right now I have zero expectations. Honestly, before getting into this workout, I was thinking, I hate the snatch, I hate the snatch, I hate the snatch, but I just want to get good at it. I just want to be good. So I'm just taking attempts as I normally would. Now this is much more stable than I've ever caught a weight this heavy before. It's not my PR. My PR is 215, which I'm going to get here in a second. It's 210. As you can see, really focusing on that big chest. It's amazing how important that is. My toes are really out. Part of my problem in the snatch when the weights get heavy, this is 215. You can see this happen. Let's go ahead and go back. Oh, wrong way. So as I'm pulling, for some reason, my right foot lands first. And then my left foot a half a second afterwards. I don't know why that is. I'm trying to fix it. I'm not perfect in the snatch, but I'm I am so excited about the progress I'm making with the pull and the contact, and especially with the catching position. I feel so confident in the catching position, and I never have felt confident before. So this was pretty big for me to catch it this easily for myself, anyways. So here we're going to come up on 220. Now last week, before I show you this, I failed this three times in a row. I kept failing it over and over and over again, and it was so frustrating. I haven't snatched a PR since, um, uh, I think it was September of 2022 was the last time I had snatched a PR, and I had stopped then. That was actually about the last time I posted on this channel my training history and the reason that is because after that I had to really rethink how I was training and I really had to um, have very low expectations of the weight and I was snatching and clean and jerking three days a week for a long time that way I could get used to the movements and um, I had tried to pair that with heavy lifting that didn't work so I had to take some time to just do light weights and get weak so that I could eventually get strong. And that was incredibly boring, and I didn't want to film it, so I didn't. <laughs> and that's why I didn't post for so long, because my training, in my opinion, just wasn't interesting. And uh, now it is, because it's actually weights that are uh, pushing me and not just frustrating me because I can't do them, even though they're light. So that's why I didn't post for a long time, and I couldn't get two plates then. I was so frustrated. I was trying to get 225 last August. Couldn't get it, couldn't get it. And today, as you're about to see, I finally get two plates. And I get more than that. So 100 kilos, I, sket, I caught it. In great style, too. Let's go back here and watch this again. This is fantastic. I'm so excited. I've watched this over and over and over again. Good catch. Not losing it at all. I'm very happy about that. So now... I wasn't even listening to heavy metal music like I usually do. Oh, that right there, that is what we call the Riggert. I'll show a picture right now. <laughs> David Riggert was a fantastic weightlifter from the 70s. I was actually watching him uh, the day before I did this snatch workout, um, watching his old competition from 1977, I think it was. And he would do this before every snatch attempt and it what he's doing is kind of thinking about what's he going to do after he's fully extended he's pulling himself onto the bar he's pulling his elbows high he's leaving his wrist down and then it's the snap over so here we go listening to the top 80s musics a perfect catch and a little yes i didn't really say anything i was surprised i wasn't so um, 
screaming my head off like I thought I was going to because I just had no expectation of what I was going to lift. I just knew I was going to lift. So here I got 230 pounds and now I've made a 15 pound PR over my lifetime best just on a random workout where I'm trying to max out and honestly it was the best feeling ever. Low expectations, high standards and just let it come when it come and I it took a while because I took so many attempts because I didn't know how heavy I was going to get to. So this was like an hour and 45 minutes into my workout now. I'm snatching 235 and I am out of gas. I had no more energy left, so I just set it down. Probably could have got it, but it wasn't going to happen. Now, I didn't film my warm-ups for my overhead squats, but I started off at 95 and just added... Uh, 20 pound jumps until I got here and I'm really trying to work on getting in good deep positions my toes are more out than I used to be that way I have more vertical torso really focusing on a big chest really keeping my, my eyes up keeping my neck straight chin down trying to keep my wrist straight too you really see how I'm focusing on that posture posture is so important and everything with sports, life, all of it. And I didn't realize how bad my posture was. So here is the weight. The week previous, I failed to do this three times in a row. Just trying to overhead squat it. It was so frustrating. Today, by fixing my positions, I was able to crush it. it wasn't that hard at all. Now here we've got 235, and I'm doing 10-pound jumps here because 20 is too much, but 5 is too little, and I don't feel like taking that many jumps at this point. I'm nearly two hours into the workout. It ends up being a three-hour long workout, and I'm just not here for that. So here's 235 was my PR. Now I break it by 10 pounds. Good single. On to the last one. So here's how I set up. I've got the squat rack off the platform because I don't have a huge platform. It's only about 8 feet. And I kind of walk it backwards onto the platform and then get my feet situated, get my grip situated. Really focused on a big chest. I want to get myself set up before I get there. I wasn't planning on filming myself or doing that amazing, so I had a dirty white old t-shirt on. <laughs> so enjoy that. Got nice sweat stains on it. Focus on a big chest, big breath, big brace. Started to go off to the left. Started to scare me, but I was not about to let it go. I was actually more enthused about that than I was about my snatch. So that was my workout. Um, if you guys are looking for strength coaching in person or online, you can check out my website. It's on the link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching it. If you made it all the way through this, I appreciate you. Have a good one.